When Hamilton was released back in 2020, I think I was one of the first people to go out and watch it. Uh, I was so excited for it, and uh, once it actually came out, it, there was actually a five-year gap of it being uh, adapted into a movie, which is uh, originally a theatre production. Uh, once that happened and I saw the movie version of it, I immediately fell in love with it. Uh, Hamilton, just the music, the choreography, the acting just speaks so much to me. Uh, and with that, uh, getting the opportunity to play Hamilton is a dream come true, I would say. Well, I feel, first of all, very honoured and excited because uh, ever since uh, we got a DVD player, I used to watch Lion King two, three times a week because I loved the songs in it. And then uh, once we started the production, we all uh, got together and sat down and watched the Broadway version, which was uh, very interesting on itself. So I am honoured, excited and uh, yeah, that's basically it, honoured and excited. Uh, I wouldn't say it was that hard. Uh, considering in my case, because in most of the drama productions that I've taken part in, I've always played female roles. Uh, so it was not that hard for me to transition, but especially in Lion King, uh, playing a character of a lioness was really hard. Because um, not unlike in the movie, uh, on the stage it's really difficult to play a um, character of, a, of an animal on stage, uh, so, yeah. Um, so, Greatest Showman, P.T. Barnum. I believe that uh, there are some emotions and traits of Phineas Barnum that I, too, share similar experiences. I think that whoever casted me did a good job, and I can see that while I read the script and while I play his character, I too can fully embody his personality because it is that easy.